everyone, my name is Luke. Welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. Today in this episode, I'm showing you all how to stay 100% bug free while using a tarp as part of your shelter system. Without a doubt, this is a very important topic to discuss, especially with Lyme disease spreading across the world. It's funny, when I was a kid, I never saw a tick. I didn't see one until I was maybe 18 years old when they started coming into the area. And now they are everywhere. And Lyme disease is exploding across the world, including here where I live. I mean, cases are rampant. So with that being the case, today's a good day to set up a huge tarp and underneath it, I have many examples to show you. This episode includes options. This episode includes methods, and we might as well get started. Step one when dealing with bugs begins with prevention. And there's two things that you could do to start off. First, treat your body with bug repellent. Two, clean up your campsite. If there are leaves on the ground, if there's debris, clean that up. Rake it out of the way, get it away from you. That's because bugs, spiders, ticks, Everything lives underneath that debris. Think of that debris as their insulation layer that protects them from the elements. So anytime that you see a pile of leaves, debris and whatnot, there's bugs underneath it. There's bugs in it. So you need to get that stuff out of there. Make sure to keep that in mind with your next survival or bushcraft shelter. And with that being said, let's get to the bug protection shelter options now. With option number one, this is a bivy. This is a run of the mill bivy. That could be 100% zipped up. On the inside, you do have mesh, so you can get some good airflow. The pros is that these are very lightweight, very small, quick to set up. The cons, hot. These add about 10 degrees to your sleep system, and you have to worry about condensation, especially in the more humid areas that you go into. So this is option number two, and this is a bivy as well, but this is a special type of bivy known as a bug bivy. It has a floor, the mesh connects to it, you have a way to pull this off of your body so it doesn't lay on you. And what you get here is amazing airflow, amazing ventilation, and you have the protection of your tarp. The real con to these is that they tend to be expensive. This one here is from Mountain Laurel Designs, and I believe this runs 120, 130, something like that. Option number three is a tent body. Take your favorite tent, remove the fly, and here you go. Place that underneath a tarp and you have 100% bug protection with awesome ventilation. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, Luke, why don't you just take the tent then? Ah, good question. Ventilation and airflow. Those are two of the biggest pros when it comes to a tarp. And this is an excellent way to stay bug free. With this option, you're talking about a little bit more weight than the other two, but potentially you are talking a cheaper cost. One thing to keep in mind is that you can purchase some tents very inexpensively. So if all that you need is the tent body, not the fly, you could buy a cheap tent and you're set. Option number four is a bug tent. This is very similar to the bug bivy, but as you can see here, this is much, much bigger. It has the floor, everything's sewn together. You have in this case, two doors. You have one here, one on the other side. So with this option, you have the benefits of more space. You could stretch out, you could have all of your gear in here easily, and you can also sit up and change clothes if that's something that you need to do. This one comes from Integral Designs. That company was purchased by Rab. I do not know if they still offer this. They might, I don't know. But there are other companies out there who make bug tents. The fifth option is the Katama Adventure Shelters IBNS system. That stands for Improved Bed Net System. Think of this as somewhat of a tent inner, a tent body, but you could purchase this on its own. I believe it's around 80 bucks. And what you have is a floor and lots and lots of mesh. You have two doors, one on each side, so you can open it up, hop in. The size of this is more along the lines of a bug bivy. It's a little bit smaller than a tent body or a uh, bug tent, but this does present you with a very inexpensive option. The next option that I have for you all is a ground sheet that has been treated with permethrin. That will keep the bugs away, but it will also kill anything that crawls onto it. It works very well. You guys have seen me do this in the past with a tarp. With this option, this could be very, very inexpensive, but it's not 100% foolproof. You do have to consider your upper body. Yes, no bugs will crawl on this, you don't have to worry about that part, but you do have to worry about your exposed areas. So you can treat your skin or moving on to the last option, bug netting. I'm not going to put this on, but you can see where I'm going with it. Bug netting works just like this. It goes around your body. You make sure to seal yourself up the best you can. 
and there you go. Now, this is a very lightweight, inexpensive option. It is not my favorite. I personally do not like having this material lay on my body. Yes, you can, of course, rig it up so it doesn't lay on your body, but ultimately, it is up to you. Over the course of this video, we've gone over numerous options, seven different options to keep you bug free. And each of these options present you with certain benefits, certain pros and cons. Some are very easy, very quick to set up. Some take a little bit more work. And also some will be easier depending on the type of tarp that you have. If you have a tarp that has lots of tie off points, for an example with the bug tent, that is very easy to tie off or the bug bivy. With Lyme disease and other diseases being out there, it's more important than ever to take care of yourself. Take the proper precautions. Do not take any chances. And also, if you hate bugs like I do, <laughs> these options work very, very well. I, I don't like things crawling on me when I'm outside in the outdoors. It's funny, over 30 years of outdoor experience and I still don't like spiders. Side story, I spent some time in Florida when I was a kid and we bought this house, I was pretty young, and it had wolf spiders in it. They're pretty good sized spiders. They can be as large as your hand and they carry their babies on their backs and they're very aggressive. They hop on you. And so we bought this house and it was infested. And I mean, imagine them like crawling across the ceilings on the walls, jumping on you. <laughs> it gives me chills right now. That's why I don't like them. Anyways, if you want to avoid the bugs, the mosquitoes, the spiders, the ticks, the flying baddies and whatnot, these are ways to do it. For myself, since it is bug season, we're talking warmer weather, forget the regular bivy, you will be uncomfortable in that. Bug bivy, awesome choice. Tent inner, awesome choice. Bug tent, fantastic. The improved bed net system, the IBNS, that is an awesome piece of kit. I do have a video on that. And if you are interested, I will put a link to the bushcraft episode where I use the treated ground sheet. And then of course, you have the mosquito net. That's not my favorite option by any means either. With each of these setups, you can piece together a very lightweight system that works for you, and you could go ultra light if you want to. With most of these options, they offer you awesome airflow. You will sleep super good, and with your tarp, you'll stay dry with a good setup. Before saying goodbye, there is one more option, and that is a hammock. Now, there's no trees around here, so I didn't set one up, but a hammock that has a bug net built into it, works very, very well. That is a bonus option for you all to consider. Now, of course, if you have any questions for me, email me. Make sure to comment down below, share your thoughts, your tips and tricks for everyone else. Remember, we are a community of one. We are here to help each other out. And with this episode, I hope I've provided you all with some good information. Everyone take care, strength and honor. Don't get Lyme disease. I'll see you.